Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of Practical PowerPoint Tips series, you're going to learn how to use SmartArt to resize pictures. There are times when you want to use images of similar dimensions to make your slides look consistent. However, if you go to Insert Pictures option, like say, let me go to insert pictures here, you find that the pictures that you have in your computer may not all be of the same dimension. For example, this one is longer, this one is wider and this one is squarish. How do we get them all to be of the same dimension? Is there any smarter, quicker way? Yes, there is. And that is what you're going to learn today. And we are going to use SmartArt to make those pictures with different dimensions look standardized. Let us uh, go to SmartArt and let me show you how we are going to do it. In the SmartArt option, we are going to use Picture Collection. And in this, let me use something which is very simple, like this one, called Picture Accent Blocks. Let me say OK. And here we have three images. You can always add more images if you like. Let me work with just three images so you understand the idea of what we are trying to do here. First, I'm going to click on this picture placeholder and I'm going to work offline. So from file, I'm going to take this image which has a vertical orientation and I'm going to say insert. This is automatically resized into a proper square. Let me go to this image, work offline, so browse, and let us take this one, which has a wider orientation, and I'm going to click insert, and this again is standardized, and let me take a picture, which is squarish, like this one, and insert, and there it is. Now we have these three images, which have different dimension naturally, have all been standardized into proper squares. Now all that is left for us to do is to break this um, SmartArt tool, SmartArt down by right clicking and going to group, ungroup and once again to do the same thing, right click, group, ungroup and now just pick up these images and press Ctrl X to cut them. Drag the cursor over the slide so you can pick up all the other irrelevant items and press delete and paste the three pictures back. Now you can arrange them the way you want and you can add relevant explanation text, use separator lines and do whatever you want to complete slides to complete your slide and get a look and feel like this one. So that is how you use SmartArt to resize pictures. This is one way to create professional slides. There is another smart way to create professional slides without breaking a sweat. And that is to use PowerPoint CEO packs. Here are some example templates from our CEO packs. Here you can see tiered stages model input and output in various stages and you may not believe that these shapes are created entirely inside PowerPoint. And here we explain each of these stages. The next diagram is this one which shows four layered factors and another example template that you're going to learn you're going to see is this one called strategic visioning model. If you are a business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself, you can always take a look at our off-the-shelf solutions like PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2. The two CEO Packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. 
Hope you liked our tutorial on using smart art to resize pictures. If you want to read more articles, go through more videos like the one that you have just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Happy presenting.